Hey guys, Adrian or Kid Yuri here for you guys today. I know we've been a long video in a while, or a lot of them have been updates. Today I wanted to get you guys a uh, kind of a tour of my iPhone. Some people want to know what apps I have, but you know what's my phone set up like, and it is Joe Broken. It's on the 4.0 firmware. This is the iPhone 4, as you can see here, iPhone 4, 32 gig model. Um, and yeah, so this is my carrier. It's on soft pink, so you can see from this is my background, just my room, and no lock screen. Ah, uh, excuse me, sorry, no lock screen mods. Even though I am jailbroken, you see, uh, there's the, my name, Adrian, is up there in the corner instead of uh, Softmink. I like to have the time and date. It's really nice to have that. You can have see, you can see October 3rd and the current time. Battery life, uh, it's in rotation lock right now. So, yeah. And I'm going to try and focus just a little bit more on the screen here. And I go. Sorry, if you guys can't see this, that should be good enough. Let me see, I have a lot of apps. Tons and tons of apps. I always download apps. I get a lot of apps for review sometimes. Uh, and sometimes I just have a lot of free apps I download. Just to mess around with in uh, some apps that you uh, I buy, um, and you can see here I have two pages. I don't like to have a lot of pages. I used to have a whole bunch of pages, and then folders really help me organize my uh, applications. Uh, and even though it is a one-click, you know, it's kind of annoying. Not annoying, but uh, kind of in a way, some people think it's tedious because you have to click and then you have to find the app and click it. It's better than actually having to go through all the pages and finding it. You know, that's just my opinion. Some people prefer otherwise. Um, this is a nice HD wallpaper I have here. It's a little, kind of like a stream, but it's kind of like animated. You guys can't really see how good the quality is, I guess, because the camera's not picking up. I notice my camera doesn't really pick up the retina display as well as it did with my old iPhone 3G. But anyways, um, my apps are organized, so I have them by five columns, five by five. Um, I use a thing called Iconoclasm and Shrink uh, to uh, shrink the icons and to organize them in a different layout. So I have a 5x5 five five icon layout. So you can see here my main ones, iPod, clock, photos, notes, and camera. Because those are the main ones I use in handy in calculator. I also hide a lot of my icons, like the ones I don't use, like contacts. I don't use that because I can click phone, obviously. Um, I use a calendars app. It's called Calendars. It syncs with Google Calendars and stuff like that. I don't want to go into all my apps here, but I'll just show you some of them. So, you know, that's calendars right there. Uh, City X, I am jailbroken. I have some mods, like I showed you earlier. I have this uh, SB settings, which is really, really useful because I can adjust brightness on the fly, especially for my videos. Turn off 3G, kill some processes if I want to do that, so to free up memory. Um, you can view your Wi Fi IP address and stuff like that. And, you know. Um, okay, other than that, you can have your iTunes here, your App Store, your Weather. Uh, you barely use that because I got on Weather HD, and I'm going to be trying that out. My readers, I use uh, Reader as my RSS reader. I've been using To Do a lot, it's a really good app. Things is a really expensive app, but uh, a lot of people want, I want to show it for review. And it's just basically a To Do app, and kind of like a GTD, Getting Things Done app, which I'll have a review on that. The basic Twitter app is what I use. In my social folder here, I have Skype, Facebook, Tumblr, uh, iStudies Pro, which is a school app. And actually, they're trying to be in social. I don't know why it's there. Um, work, uh, just basically everything I used to like work with. I use Ping Chat to uh, communicate with people like Duncan, who's in the UK, and my friend Josh, who's or We493, who's in the States, and Nuno, who's in Portugal. Um, it's really easy for me to communicate with them on projects and stuff like that for the website. Um, you know, I can do it universally uh, with Ping Chat. Um, now I get a call coming in through Skype, so I'm sorry, I get to click out of that. Um, I have Evernote, uh, this is for notes taking. Tomorrow is a to do app. I have a lot of to do apps, I've been you know, trying out a lot of them. WordPress for blogging, Digital Dojo's YouTube channel, and the Digital Dojo's blog. On media here, um, I just have some stuff like Pixel Pipe, which I, used to, uh, I use sometimes to uh, render out, or not render out, but kind of. Uh, I guess upload to YouTube and stuff like that. Greenbox uh, is for Revision 3 shows, Twit for the Twit shows, backgrounds for obviously my backgrounds and wallpapers. iMovie uh, is for, I use it uh, a couple for a couple projects for editing on my, my iPhone 4 videos. Air Video is a really, really great app. I think I've done a review on that. Uh, TV on Demand is uh, TV over Wi Fi. Not all TV channels, but you get a good amount of shows and you get some CNET videos and stuff like that. And obviously, the YouTube app. Alright, finance is just PayPal and an app called Daybank, which is just for financial you know, money and stuff like that. Photography, I have something called Tilt Shift Gen, which is Tilt Shift Generator. I've done a review on that. iMotion is basically stop motion. I don't think I've done a review on that yet. And Color Splash, which is another cool uh, video art photography app that I have done a uh, actual video on. For reference, these are just referencing for like, you know, I need to look at if I ever need help. Google, obviously, to help me. Google search has voice functionality, voice search functionality. Dictionary to look up, you know, words if I ever need it. Driver's Ed is for actually driver's ed test because, uh, you know, just to practice, I'm actually, I don't, I don't have my license yet. I'm only 15, but once I get 15 and a half here, 
you can get your uh, permit. So, uh, you know, just studying there. Wakupa is just for, uh, it's like tracking what apps you use. And Japanese is just for my Japanese, which I'm, because I'm taking a class, I'm taking Japanese too. So, helps out there. Games, have a lot of games. Don't play a lot of them, actually. I need to get some new ones. Like Fruit Ninja is the one I've been playing a lot. Blue Block is actually the free version. Uh, but it has tons of, like, free stuff you can play, or tons of levels. Gun range I use just to show off the, uh, what do you call that, the gyro, is it the gyroscope, I believe it's called, in the iPhone 4, it's a really fun app to play around with. IMT Pain is an auto-tune app, and you know most of these are just, you know, apps that you've seen before. I don't think I've ever done reviewing all of them, but just games I've had for a long time. Under Utilities, I have the new remote app, Remote 2.0, for iTunes and stuff like that, Air Mouse for turning your iPhone into a mouse, very useful. Maps, App Genie's 30 plus apps in one, and only costs like a dollar. Neon wallpapers is to make your own wallpaper with your name and stuff like that. Theme clock and alarm clock are both alarm applications. One's free, one's like two dollars. PP settings is a Pogo Plank, which is an app you have to buy in City. I know, yeah, City usually you think free apps, but they actually have a paid store. And I actually purchased it. It was like four bucks. It's a uh, different lock screen. I would show it to you, but it's not fully supported for 4.0 as of yet. So. You'll probably run into some issues. Winterboard is for um, customizing your iPhone's icons, themes, sounds, stuff like that. Um, as you can see, I have a different sound pack. I have the, I believe it's called the Metal Gear codec for my uh, sounds. So Winterboard deals with all of that. And I think, and that was about it. And RunKeeper, which I don't have a sports section, so I just keep RunKeeper in there because I use it for, it's like a GPS running tracking utility. News are just some news apps I have. Make use of Mashable, Dig, and read it later. All free apps, I believe. Here are just some apps I've recently downloaded that I've just been messing around with. Calvetica, uh, I got it as a recommendation from a pick on Twit, one of the Twit shows. $2 calendar app, really, really great. Hippolyte is just the hip free version for it's a, basically another mouse and stuff like that that works actually on Ubuntu, so that's what I've been using that for. Pulse News, another really, really great news reader app. Weather HD, another really cool weather app that gives you really great visual representation of uh, your weather information, obviously. And uh, I've been using this actually lately a lot because I just got it. And it's really cool because you can see that it's actually playing a video of the clouds uh, in really, really nice quality. I guess you can't tell that. And it you know, shows a forecast for your uh, location and stuff like that. All right. Um, and other than that, I have grades, which are basically my grade book for my school where you can check my grades. Angry Birds, which I've been playing a lot lately. And other than that, uh, you know, my phone, my messages, and my Safari and mail are down here in the bottom. Uh, SB settings, and there's really nothing else. I use Activator also, which allows you to do some crazy stuff, like turn. You can remap your button, so I can use my volume button basically to make it go to sleep. I, I can do a whole bunch of stuff. I can shake the iPhone to make it go to sleep. There's a whole bunch of cool stuff you can do with Activator. Basically, that is my iPhone. Uh, you know, nothing too fancy. Uh, I have some different layout, have some different icon organizations, and you can see the titles there or the categories. Um, but anyways, hope you enjoyed. Uh, hope it gives you better insight to, you know, maybe a way you want to set up your iPhone or some apps you might want to check out. And I have some reviews for most of, the, most of these. I'll try and get annotations up. Hope you enjoyed, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe.